This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, this is the most disrespectful thing I've seen in a while. LO Cool J won against Can I Bus. And guess what? He had him on stage recently doing the backup vocals, like the ad libs, to the diss track LO Cool J laid for him. I mean, how embarrassing is that? And he did it. He was bouncing around just like, yeah, man, this is cool. We good again, guys. It's like, nah, he played you once again. Uh, Casanova. It's not looking good, bro. It's about to be over. Look, look two of Casanova's uh, co-defendants, they're going to plead guilty. That means they're going to they're giving validity to the whole case. Um, I bet you Casanova's going to have to work out a deal of some kind because it's not looking good. Uh, one of them was uh, accused of committing a non-fatal July 2020 drive-by in New Row, New Rochelle, at orders of Gorilla Stone leader Ahmed Walker. Um, and he also uh, retaliation for being uh, robbed by the Crips in 2020. And then uh, another one is well, Ingram is accused of conspiring with Gorilla Stone members to move large quantities of crack and cocaine uh, in the Peak School area. Uh, it's not looking good for Casanova because uh, when it's all these guys start following around him, he's going to be like the last guy left and they're going to throw the book at him. I'm just being honest, you know, like it's sad. He should have never affiliated himself with this. Because, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. Um, let that be a lesson to you. If you, if you, if you, you know, it doesn't, the credibility is definitely not worth it. You know? Then we got DMX. We already kind of reported this earlier, but, you know, the cause of death was revealed that it was, uh, cocaine and he went into cardiac arrest because no circulation to the brain um and it was a he also noted x he, he said he had a source of uh, he also noted x's regular cocaine use oh man so sad man we're gonna miss him man dmx special i, I really wanted to see him do like a podcast or i loved his interviews like beyond he was beyond rap to me at that point he already proved the rap stuff to me he was just a star in himself <laughs> like i really enjoyed that last noriega podcast uh that he did then this is so funny so uh takashi's trolling blueface again because blueface um got a nyc luxury tattoo and that why would you get your jeweler's name tattooed you don't own part of the jewelry shop like how much of a discount are you gonna get well takashi says he definitely owed him money for unpaid jewelry nyc luxury that's that is uh what do you say that's embarrassing and he said then uh blueface running takashi you literally trying too hard to stay relevant I gotta say though, Takashi has more money than Blueface. Takashi's had more hits and he brings, he sells more tickets. I'm not taking his side. I'm just saying, that's just the facts. So Takashi acts like he's Blueface going to the jewelry store. <laughs> and he's like, they're like, you're gonna get this tattoo. And he's like, okay. Listen to this. This chain is beautiful, bro. How much is the chain? 2200 Damn, I don't got 2200 right now. You know what to do. You want this chain, right? Yeah. You're going to have to get this tattoo. All uh, right, whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Get this tattoo. He said, uh, he said one hit wonder problems. So, you know, Blueface attempts to go back at him. Um, he shows his father, his biological father who is homeless he says academics in Takashi stop talking like you getting the money you clearly don't and then he says to uh he also says you know 
Takashi doesn't treat his baby mom well. He doesn't give him money or anything, suppose, according to her. And she's like, I got to take him to court. Da, 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 da. And then he's like, he don't got it for real. And then this is, I think this is NYC Luxury. This is one of the jewelry guys who accused Takashi of not paying for uh, a necklace. And Takashi claims he gave him the necklace to promote his uh, jewelry store. But he ended up giving it back, I think. Uh, Blueface says, kids hungry, daddy hungry. But you claim uh, to walk around with so much money. That's a shame. Takashi really has money. I'm gonna be honest with you. He just has the he has the hits. He sells the tickets. He has more money than Blueface. Blueface, I don't think he can make another hit. Otherwise, he would have. You know, um, he's doing that show on his Instagram or whatever or Snapchat. Uh, Blueface has money, but he just doesn't have as money much money as Takashi. Obviously, he's getting tattoos of jewelers on his head. That's that's spooky. Um, anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Peace.